Hey guys, so today I'm going to tell you about what makeup I use. It's going to be a short video because I'm in Australia now after traveling and I've been away from home for six months and I was backpacking through Europe and Southeast Asia so I didn't bring very much with me at all and I was really trying to stop wearing as much makeup. But um, I started wearing a bit of makeup now and then again since I'm more sedentary and I'm settled in Australia and um, I realized that it's okay to wear makeup sometimes and it's good that I went through a phase where I wasn't at all so that I know that I don't need to rely on it because it's important that you don't feel like you need makeup to feel okay with yourself and I, I felt like I was at that point so anyway I'll get straight to the point this is my holy grail foundation I don't actually use um, a regular foundation this is uh, Physicians Formula Mineral Wear and I've been using this for years I was using this all through university so this is it's, I've been using this for probably five years Obviously, I've gone through more than one, but they last forever. I've had this specific one for, like, at least a year. I don't. I hope it's still good. I don't. I don't know. It it works fine, but um, I use translucent light because I'm very pale. Um, even though I'm in Australia, I somehow still ha like haven't kept my tan that I got while traveling. So this, I love this. Um, it opens at the top, you shake, ooh, see, I mean, foundation just kind of exploded everywhere. You shake it out, some comes out. I put my own kabuki brush in here. This is Eco Tools kabuki brush, the one it comes with it. I don't like it. It's, it has really hard bristles, and I like it when it's really soft because I have sensitive skin. So I love this. And for me, I find that it goes on really naturally because I have oily skin but not too oily. I, I don't ever really get oil slicks on my face, it's just oily. And um, so I find this goes on really nicely. And then I just just bought this for the first time and I'm wearing it right now. This is Organic Wear Ivory to Fair Organics and it's by Physicians Formula and I bought this because it was on sale but it's still ridiculously expensive. I did some googling and I found that some people in the states got this for three dollars and I, I got this, oh my god, I, I spent like twelve dollars on it and that was on sale, it was like half price, I swear. Things are inflated ten times the price in Australia so this seemed like a deal at the time but um, it's too late to return it, I already started using it but I mean Considering I don't use very much on my face, I don't mind spending a little more on something that has such nice ingredients. And um, the ingredients aren't on this; is it's on the pack. But um, it doesn't. It it has a lot of natural oils in it. It has sunflower oil. It has a bit of lavender in it. Um, I really like it. I I tried it once, but I. And the first time I used it, I was having a breakout and my skin was dry and flaky because of um, a cl the clay I was using was drying out my skin a little bit. So this didn't look that great, um, but I just put it on today because my skin has been a lot better and I really like it. I really like how it looks right now. It really evens up my skin tone, but obviously you can, s I mean, you can see on the camera, my skin actually looks amazing on this camera, but in person you can see blemishes, but I don't mind because I'd rather it look natural and just even out my skin tone a bit, and it's called a tinted moisturizer, so it's supposed to moisturize. We'll see if it does. I don't know, but I love putting oils, natural good oils on my skin. I find it reacts really well. So. I really like this. I read that um, for some people it turned their skin orange. Definitely didn't do that for me. Maybe the darker colors turn people's skin orange, but the ivory, like the light uh, ivory to fair here, can you see? It's a really, really light color. Like it's not even close to orange, and it doesn't turn my skin orange at all. So, so far so good. I can't give a like full review of it on it because I've only used it two times. But I like how it looks right now. This is like it's like a blush bronzer, and obviously it's Vision's formula. This is my favorite brand. I just when I find something I like, I stick to it. I've had I have some other um, mineral makeup 
samples back in Canada, but I didn't bring them with me, so I can't really talk about them. But these are things I use every day. I think it's time to get a new blush. I've had this for so long, I don't even know how old it is. Um, and I, I mean, I don't wear makeup every single day and I don't use a lot, so I keep my makeup lasts forever. This is called Blushing Peach. And I really like it. Uh, I don't, I didn't bring a blush brush with me. So I've been using this brush that it came with and I really don't like it, but it does the job, I guess. So this, I really enjoy. And it ne I never break out from it. I know that I, I've worn it for years. I never break out from Physician's Formula, especially the powders. I'm not, I can't talk too much about the, uh, the mineral, uh, organic wear, sorry, tinted moisturizer. Okay, so other than that, I don't use any natural makeup on my eyes or lips because um, it's more expensive to get organic or mineral makeup for the most part. So I like to spend extra for things that I put on my face. For things that I put on my eyes, um, I don't necessarily get natural products. So I'm not really going to talk about that in this video because I want this to be about the natural things that I use. I just ordered a whole bunch of samples from Australian mineral makeup lines. One is, oh, what is it? One is from an Etsy website called Eccentric Cosmetics and I just ordered 10 samples of their eyeshadow and eyeshadow primer and it's, it's vegan, not I mean, as far as I know, eyeshadow doesn't normally have animal products in it, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm not sure about that. And I just ordered, like, so many samples from this uh, line called Hef Mineral Makeup. Sorry, Half. Half Mineral Makeup, H-A-F. And um, I'm just uh, waiting. I just ordered them yesterday, so I probably won't get them until the end of the week, but they're Australian, so hopefully I'll get them soon, and I will definitely do a video on that. So for now, loving my staples that I've had forever, and um, obviously what works for me won't necessarily work for you. It's different for everybody, but I love this, this line, Physician's Formula, so... So yeah, if you have any questions, let me know, and if you have any recommendations for great products that are natural for the face, or if you have any uh, suggestions for affordable, natural, uh, mineral eye makeup or lipstick, let me know. I'm not a big lipstick person, but I like lip tints sometimes. So um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, and please check out my website. It is sweethealthnut.com, where um, I provide information on skincare, focusing on acne, um, you can check out my acne story, and um, I write, I have a whole bunch of recipes, I write about all sorts of like girl issues, and um, makeup, and most, it's just, it's everything to do with health, and focusing on natural health, so have a look, hope you enjoy, and I will see you guys soon, bye!